Hey guys, welcome to my new channel. It's Southern Beer Girl and I'm so glad that I'm able to start this and able to share some of the beers that I drink. For my first video, I am going to be trying Stargate from Black Project. I figured I would try this one first since this weekend is actually their anniversary. Um, I am by no means an expert. Um, I'm sure some of you would say that I am BJCP certified. Um, so I do know off flavors um, that I can, you know, say during the videos. If I figure out an off flavor, I'll definitely let you guys know. Um, but taste is subjective. Just because if I don't like a beer doesn't mean that you're not going to, but I'm going to try to give you an honest opinion of what I think this beer tastes like and beers in the future. And on top of that, I want to I want you guys to give me some feedback. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. Do you want to see more videos on brewing education? Um, I have a lot of friends or home brewers that I can do videos of um, if you guys are interested in that. But um, my email should be on my Instagram page. It's actually just southernbeergirl at gmail.com. If you have any feedback, just let me know. Um, you know, I want to want to do stuff that you guys want to see. So um, I'll definitely be trying beers all the time. Unfortunately, brewers don't make a lot of money, so I can't uh, always purchase the most rare beers or uh, anything like that that you guys probably want to see all the time. But if you're a brewery and you're interested in me reviewing some of your beers, please send me some and I will definitely, you know, hype you guys up, but still give an honest feedback report on my videos. So, um, other than that, let's get started. So this is Stargate from Black Project. It is a barrel aged. It is a custom blend of eight to 10 month old spontaneous Solera Sour Golden Base with 100% cool ship caught wild microbes from Colorado. Um, they add nectarines and then put them in Laws whiskey barrels, um, which if you're not from Colorado, Laws is probably one of my favorite distilleries around here. Um, amazing whiskey, their rye is just fantastic. Um, but these are, this is probably one of their most popular beers. They just had a lottery for this. Um, so a lot, highly desirable and I can't say that I've ever tried it. So I'm actually so excited. Um, this weekend is their anniversary. So if you have a chance, if you're in Colorado, please go check them out. They're doing a lot of special bottle poppings this weekend. They might even open this. I'm not really sure. Uh, but they have some amazing beers on right now. I just went yesterday. They had a super braggot, which is like a kind of like a honey ale. Um, it was amazing. So delicious. If you have a chance to go try that, let me know what you think. You'll think it's good, believe me. Um, so yeah, let's open it. Oh man, I just realized it was a cork. Okay, now that I got the cork out, I had to take a break for a second and go get that out. Um, I just didn't even think about it, but uh, okay, so got the cork out. It already smells amazing, just like pure nectarines. Looks fantastic. Of course, my glass is a little dirty, but a little bit of golden haziness. It just smells like, kind of like a peach pie. A little bit of whiskey in there that I can definitely taste or smell. Oh man, that is great. Super smooth, it's not super acidic, which is great. I don't like to drink a lot of really really tart beers because then I feel like you can't really taste anything else when you have that but I mean this is just great I could drink it all day carbonation is really high um, which I know that they 
bottle condition every single one of their beers, which would explain the cork. Should have been prepared for that, but I wasn't. But yeah, I mean, this is awesome. I honestly have no, you know, bad feedback about this beer. It's, it's literally like eating, like eating a peach cobbler kind of with a little bit of maybe like whiskey kind of stuff sprinkled over it. <laughs> if that's a good explanation, I don't know, but no, this is fantastic. So I'll kind of answer some of these questions that I know I've gotten a ton of messages by or from people. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about uh, how I started as a brewer, um, if I went to school or not, or anything like that, uh, what got me into beer. So I'll kind of introduce myself a little bit, that way you guys can get to me, know me a little bit better um, and hopefully answer some of your questions. So I moved here with my now husband about three years ago to Colorado from Texas. It would explain Southern Beer Girl. Um, we have always loved beer. I have, ever since I turned 21, and honestly before that, have always been into craft beer. I've always trying to, you know, try different things. Um, never, you know, was a huge fan of just the plain, like, Keystone or whatever. I mean, I'll still drink that on occasion, but... Um, and, you know, once we moved to Denver, the craft beer scene is just insane here. Um, there's so many great breweries that you can go to, and, you know, we didn't know anybody. So our pastime on the weekends was to go check out these new breweries and try this beer that I had never really had in, in Texas. You know, I didn't really know anything about sour beer. I didn't know you know, that there was anything else other than IPAs and lagers, kind of. Um, since then, thankfully, the craft beer scene in Texas has really, really gotten uh, a lot better, specifically North Texas. Uh, I know Austin has a really good thing going too, but my area kind of was the Dallas-Fort Worth and, you know, I had gone to RAR a lot, which they're awesome too, but they do a lot of, like, you know, normal, I shouldn't say normal, but uh, kind of lagers, German ales, things like that. Um, so when we came here and I tried all these interesting beers, I started really, really getting into things. Um, I decided that I wanted to start home brewing. So me and my husband started doing that. Um, we won a few awards, a lot of best in show, a lot of gold medals, um, so I was like, man, I'm kind of good at this. Maybe I should try to do it professionally. Um, there was a small brewery here that is unfortunately closed now, uh, one of the few that has closed down in Colorado due to finances and location, in my opinion, but um, I was luckily hired on there and uh, just kind of le was learning the ropes. You know, it was a really small brewery. We produced about three barrels at a time, which is not a lot um, compared to a lot of stuff around here, uh, other breweries around here, but um, worked my ass off basically. You know, I tried to learn as much as I could. Every book I found about brewing, I was looking at. Um, and try to taste as much as I can. Anytime I tasted a new beer, I wanted to know how it was made, uh, what ingredients contributed to all these flavors. Um, I wanted to learn about yeast, about temperatures, everything like that. Um, and since I started reading a lot, I realized that some of the stuff I couldn't really educate myself on. Um, so I started looking into professional brewing programs. Um, I went to Regis University here in Denver, uh, and they have a year-long program uh, for brewing science. It's not a degree, but it is a certificate, and I definitely learned a lot. Um, I, I would say that it wasn't as comprehensive as I would like, but there's only so much that you can fit in into a year-long program that is only meeting once a week. I mean, I was working as a veterinary technician at the time, 
So I didn't really have a whole lot of time to dedicate to a full-time class schedule. Um, but that being said, it really set me apart from a lot of other people trying to break into the industry. Um, you know, my experience definitely was, I think, most important. Um, but just having that education on my resume really made a difference too. And so uh, I actually left that brewery that I started at before they closed. Um, so I ended up at Lone Tree Brewing Company uh, in Lone Tree, Colorado, and been there ever since. Um, and I work with a great team. Uh, I am one of three brewers and a packaging manager that we have in the back. Uh, and my team is awesome. You know, I get a lot of questions about being one of the only women uh, in the beer industry, specifically brewing. Um, and, you know, it's, I can't say that it's that different, thankfully. Um, I thankfully work with a great team who lets me be independent. Um, honestly, my biggest probably, uh, you know, thing that I fight against is being so short. Uh, I'm about five foot one, so there's a lot of things in the brewery that I can't reach. Uh, they had to buy me a stool that I can use to kind of grain out a lot. Um, there's a lot of little things like that around the brewery that is kind of I'm a little inconvenienced by, but it's not. It definitely doesn't stop me, and you know I ask for help when I need it, and most of the time I don't. Um, you know, I, I'm not expected to lift a full keg or anything like that. So, um, and, and neither should any other man either. I'm, you know, those are about 140 pounds. There's no way that you should be lifting that anyway. Um, but yeah, being a woman in the industry is great. And I'm hoping, you know, through my videos and through my Instagram that I can really uh, inspire other women to kind of get in this industry too. Um, I don't want it to be a special thing. I don't, I don't want to be out of the norm just because I'm a woman and a brewer. Um, so I encourage any, any women who are, you know, actually thinking about it, but maybe a little scared or hesitant to get in the industry, please do. If you have a passion for beer, if you like hard work, because believe me, it is pretty hard work. Um, but if you like that, like I do, um, then do it, you know, don't, don't be scared. There's some great, great teams out there and there are bad ones, but you know, just be, just try as hard as you can, prove yourself and everything will fall into place there. Um, but you know, being a woman in the industry is great. I'm glad that I can be one of the people who's kind of, you know, the first. It's kind of great and it's good inspiring other people. At least that's what I hope that I do. Um, but other than that, if you guys have any other questions, I can cover those in my future videos. Um, but with that, I am gonna get off the camera and drink the rest of this beer because it is fantastic. Cheers, guys. <laughs>